Hey YouTube, this is my Camaro. It's got the LT1 engine, and I just did my second oil change on it. Since this is the 2023, they only want you to use 040, and that's Dexos R, which is a Corvette type of oil. The thing I don't like is it takes 10 quarts, and the only kind that they accept from GM is this here, the Mobile One Supercar. And this is the cheapest I can get it is 10 bucks a quart. And I have to order it online because it's very rare to see it locally unless you find like a big city auto zone, but then they want $13 a quart. The filter is just a PF64, like a Malibu or a, other common GM cars. I think the Equinox, that's about 728 at Walmart. So all together, if you do the work yourself, it's just over a hundred bucks plus tax. So down here, you see these risers I made so the car would be high enough for me to get under there. I'm pretty thin, so this is enough for me. And it still clears this right here. Down here, you got your oil pan. Filters on the driver's side. The drain plug is on the passenger side. Both are easy to get to as long as you can get under the car. You do have these catalytic converters in your way, and they'll be very hot if you've run the car recently. You won't have too much of a mess. There is this bar, this aluminum right here, but that's about it for what oil will get onto, so not too much to wipe up. Keep in mind, a lot of drain pans won't be big enough for the 10 quarts this holds, so make sure you get the right pan. Here's the funnel I'm using. Sometime I might get a better one that actually screws in there, but this is doing okay for now. The main thing that's tough is the angle. My older Chevy trucks actually had an elbow that came up, so it was much easier to pour the oil in. And you don't want to spill any of this if you order it online. That could be a real pain. So I was able to just stick a, something in here so the funnel would rest, and then I just took it slow with the pouring, and I didn't spill any. Apart from the funnel, these are the only two tools I use. 15 millimeter wrench and some standard oil filter pliers. I hope this was helpful for all of you that are interested in doing your own oil changes. It's a good way to save money, but keep in mind until they make some other oils available, you're stuck with that $10 a quart Mobile One Supercar.